Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have an external drive which I uh, had for a while and I've saved some some uh, videos and photos on it. And uh, I plugged it in to my computer and it, it was not getting detected. I plugged it into another computer and it was still the same, just does not pick it up at all. And I was a bit worried that I lost my media which uh, so uh, make sure you back up all your videos and pictures to anything to different uh, drives so what I did was I took it out of the case and I uh, plugged it in directly to SATA to the computer and this is what it kept on giving me uh, you need to format the disk in the drive F before you can use it so if you ever have uh, if you ever get this, do, do not format the disk because you can still get your data out of it. So I, I googled on how to fix it and uh, after looking for a while um, I was uh, able to find um, a way. So this is what you get as well. Um, the drive is not accessible. Um, so what I did was um, to, you go to the command prompt and you type in uh, check disk F drive. See, um, it's a lot, I have to open it up as administrator. So, right click and run as administrator the command prompt. So, CMD. So, check disk F drive and it tells me the type of the file system is raw. Uh, so it's meant to be NTFS or FAT32 or something like that, but it's giving me raw. So uh, after googling for a while, I was able to find this program called Test Disk. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description, but this is what you have to download. Uh, and I've already downloaded it, and I've uh, unzipped it, and this is what I'll be running. So just double click on the test disk application and this is what you have to do um, click on create a new log file so press enter and then uh, just choose the drive that's uh, not cooperating which is the second drive here it's a two terabyte drive click on proceed which is enter and it's an intel uh, the option would be Intel for a PC. Just click on enter. Click on analyze, which is just a quick ana uh, analysis. Uh, and uh, it will just finish very quickly and it will find uh, the, the partition for you, which is, uh, which is this uh, HPFS NTFS. So uh, from here, we can play around and do. Uh, change the type of the partition which I'm not gonna do now so you can create the partition uh, load backup I'm not sure what that does but uh, uh, change the part uh, partition which I'll do after but uh, at the moment I'm gonna click on P and so I can see the files and uh, as you can see they're all still there so I can copy anything and save it into my current drive so what I did uh, earlier was I went to my pictures and then these are all my pictures and I went to uh, uh, my trip from 2017 and uh, I, I copied uh, the Istanbul, uh, Istanbul views a uh, video sorry I just click on C again uh, on C uh, so because I copied that already, I'll go to the Dubai one. So click on C and then this is where it takes you. Uh, it's just taking you to the directory of where the um, where the application is. But you can go click on the double dots to take you back and you can choose another place to save it. So this is uh, just, just, went to, just going to my my C drive and under users under my user account and then we go to uh, 
to go to documents and then I can go to pictures this is where I want to save it then click on see again and it will start just copying the files over to see and uh, it's very quick too so this is how you can get your data back which is awesome so really happy with that I got my data back so just always make sure you back up your data to multiple drives and uh, I've already successfully moved the uh, copy the Istanbul videos so anyway thanks for watching and if this video helped, helped you please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye